Hi, this is Yolanda Van Veen, and in this segment we're going to talk about how to prune colonnade apple trees. Now there's so many different types of apple trees and the colonnade is one of the best for fruit. And it's a very easy tree to grow, but it's very important that you prune it from time to time. And you never want to prune it more than one third at a time, but just by taking some of the dead branches out and taking some of the every three branches out, you'll find that you'll have lots more fruit the next year. So when you're pruning any kind of fruit tree, the goal is to cut out a lot of the random branches towards the top of the tree because those are usually the more fruity branches that's going to produce the more fruit and you want about one third the size each year and that way it won't just get tall and lanky and it'll fill up and you'll get a lot more fruit quicker and so just by cutting out see the lighter colored branches you can get a lot more fruit and you just trim them out and even it out so there's more sun that gets into the middle branches and the tree will do much better if you have a fruit tree that's been established and it's really tall and not producing fruit and you have not pruned it very much, then you can actually cut out some of the top branches and what you're making is called a vase cut. By doing that, you're forcing most of the gro growth back down to the bottom part of the tree and you'll get a lot more fruit for the next year. So when you're pruning any type of a tree, you want to be really careful to cut it at the right angle. For example, if it's a large branch, you want to cut first at one side and then the other side and then you're cutting that whole heavy branch off. Because if you just cut from one angle, it might actually hurt some of the bark and get into the main trunk. And you never want to hurt the main trunk because you will lose a tree if it gets too damaged. And you don't want to cut it too far out either where the CD cut is because what happens is then it gets too much moisture and it'll rot and there's too much dead material. You want to cut it right at a little bit of an angle, leaving one to two inches right at where the tree is reading with the main trunk. Same thing, you never want to cut right up to the trunk line and make a solid cut because what happens is the tree gets very damaged and sometimes it will eventually kill the tree because it doesn't have bark to protect the main trunk and that is what's needed. By keeping up with pruning, you will find that you will get lots of apples for even more years and you can enjoy your colonnade apple tree for many, many years to come.